Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Heather. I'm a children's specialist with the St. Paul Public Library and I have another great two books to share with you today. Uh, just a reminder that the books are available at the St. Paul Libraries um, both in print and ebook versions. I would say they would most appeal to grades 4th and 5th and up. So without further ado, let's talk about some great books. The trees have leaves, the flowers are pushing up through the soil, the sunshine feels warmer. Maybe it's just a symptom of our long Minnesota winters, but I suddenly could really go for a dose of some mid-July heat and humidity. Now, while I can't just control the weather and I can't jump on a plane and go to some tropical destination, I can dive in to a couple of great books that are set during those warm, sticky summer months. So, if you have a couple of minutes, I've got two great books to share with you. No bug spray needed. Do you have any goals or wishes for this summer? Maybe you want to adopt a pet. Maybe you want to read or reread a favorite book series. Maybe you want to perfect your baseball swing. Well, for 10-year-old Caleb, it's quite simple. His wish is to have an adventure, have an exciting summer. He is so tired of being ordinary and living in the ordinary town of Sutton, Indiana. He just wants excitement, and his wish is about to come true. This is The Season of Sticks Malone by Kekla Magoon, and it's a story of Caleb and his older brother, Bobby Jean. They live with their parents and their little sister, Susie, in a very safe and loving family. However, uh, their father is quite strict, and they have not a lot of freedoms. They have to always stay pretty close to home. How are you supposed to have an adventure when you can't leave your own backyard? Well, things do pick up when two things happen. First, they go to a 4th of July picnic where the boys trade their younger sister, their baby sister, for a bag of fireworks. The second exciting thing that happens is they meet a streetwise teen named Styx Malone hanging out in the woods just beyond their yard. Now, they have never met anybody like Styx Malone. He even carries a business card called Styx Malone Anything Man. He lives by no rules. His middle name could be Adventure. So over the course of the summer, they all hang out together and Styx teaches them the art of the trade up or the great escalator trade. How to keep trading things to get better and bigger things. And the object they really want is that shiny green moped that is sitting for sale in the window at Neville's Hardware. That could be their ticket out of Sutton, their ticket to adventure, but it could also be their ticket to danger. So, while Sticks has a lot to teach the boys, they have a lot to teach Sticks about nature, fishing and frogs and, you know, um, s'mores, eating s'mores around a campfire. And they also learn that Sticks has some pretty big secrets. Now the story is told in the first person in Caleb's voice and he is very funny, very, very engaging. And the pace feels um, fast and carefree, kind of like summertime. It's a story about friendship and it's a story about belonging. Um, it's an, I was gonna say it was, it's an incredible story. I think it's an extraordinary story and I hope you will check it out. This is the Season of Sticks Malone by Kekla Magoon. Letty Out Loud by Angela Cervantes. What could be more fun than swimming every day in a neighborhood pool while attempting to eat popsicles before the sun melts them into a pink sticky mess? I know, what about volunteering at the Furry Friends Animal Shelter? Uh, it's been two weeks since uh, school let out and fifth grader Letty her best friends, Brisa and Kennedy, are so excited to be volunteering at this animal shelter, helping cats and dogs find their forever homes. Even though Letty loves all animals, she has a soft spot for a black and white terrier named Spike. Um, he is a hero dog that she meets on the very first day. Now, of all the volunteer tasks offered, Letty knows what she wants to do. She wants to be the shelter scribe. That's the person who writes the profiles for each animal so when people come in to adopt an animal, they can read a little bit about the animal. Unfortunately, she discovers that someone else really wants that job, Hunter. 
Hunter is a kid who really doesn't have a kind thing to say to anybody. And he even tells Letty maybe she shouldn't do it because her English isn't so great. And then he reminds everyone that he reads and writes at high school level. Now, while Letty may not be the, all that confident when she speaks English out loud, she is a writer and she knows it and she is not backing down. So who's going to be the scribe? They decide to have a contest and they will each write profiles and then see how many animals get adopted because of their profiles and the winner wins and becomes the shelter scribe. Now, uh, this is really important to Letty because she and Brisa, they are in a special class with other English language learners, ELLs they're called, and that has always made her feel apart from other people. It's made her feel different. She doesn't like that. Maybe winning this contest will prove that she's just like everybody else. Um, so you learn a lot about uh, Letty's struggles, but she, you also learn that she's not the only one who goes through things. And her rival in this writing competition, Hunter, well, he goes through some things too. Um, this is a really gentle story. It's about friendship, uh, compassion. It is a great book for animal lovers. Letty and Hunter's animal profiles are featured throughout the story, so you are sure to fall in love with a dog or two along the way. Um, it's a really, really sweet story. Oh, and also, you got to find out what happens to Spike. This is Letty Out Loud by Angela Cervantes. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining me again for another round of middle grade book talks. And just remember, if you liked these books, um, you can find them at the library. They are available. Um, go on the catalog. You can um, find them in ebook formats or um, in print. And now it's time to think about what you've been reading. What have you loved lately? Go tell someone. Uh, until next time, keep reading.